get very on it. It's been a while since we've had our moments together. Um, but today I'd like to talk about the three F's. Okay, so when we were in school, we dreaded bringing home a report card. Unless, of course, you were one of the fortunate ones that had straight A's, which I was not one of those. But, man, if you had three F's, that was a moment of shame. You were not happy to walk in the front door of your house that day. But those aren't the three F's that I want to talk about. Okay, so what are the three F's? Well, you could say fun, fun, fun. Fun, 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 tell my dad takes the T-bird away. Well, most of you probably have no idea what a T-bird is. But anyway, it's a Thunderbird made by Ford. Um, so, three F's. What are the three F's I do want to talk about? Frustration, fear, frenzy. I was having a moment one day and the Lord kind of gave me those three words and I went, <laughs> okay. So the frustration, when we encounter a situation where we are really losing control and we can't make anything happen, we have no power over that situation. We get frustrated. And the scripture that the Spirit of God put into my heart about frustration is, be still and know that I am God. And he also said, don't let your heart be troubled. I went, okay, okay. Well, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And then he showed me about fear. It's a real short trip between being frustrated and having that slide right into fear. If I haven't cut it off at the beginning, it is going to continue on its little journey into fear. Now, what happens when it gets into fear? Well, the anxiety comes. The twisting of the hands, the pulling of the hair, the biting of the lip, you know, smoke coming out of your ears, not literally, hopefully, but the anxiety, the concern, the fr I mean, that frustration to the max. But the scripture that the Lord gave me on that one was, I'm not giving you a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. I don't have to allow the, number one, the frustration to get off the ground. But if it does, which I've been known to, it goes into fear. But then I have the power to cut it off at the pass and not to sit there and entertain the fear, the anxiety, and all the buildup that's going on within me. But there's a third F. If I haven't stopped it at the first... If I've allowed the frustration to go into the fear, and the fear has built up to this insanity where it's about to overtake me, then it will overtake me, and it becomes frenzy. And I said, Lord, I don't know where in Scripture frenzy is talked about. The Spirit of God is so good. He, he just takes me by the hand. He said, let me tell you, Debbie, I'll tell you where it is. And he took me to the Garden of Gethsemane the night that Jesus was being arrested. And our dear friend Peter was so frustrated and fear-struck that his frenzy caused him to pick up a sword and cut off the ear of one of the servants. That was a capital offense. Peter could have been killed for that offense, attacking somebody within the Sadducees or within the um, priesthood, even a servant of them. I can imagine Jesus just going, Peter, 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 come on now. Jesus picks up the ear. I mean, get a vision of this. Jesus picks up the ear and puts it back in place. Not only did the guy walk out balanced, but Peter avoided being executed. And that's what the Lord does for us. We're going to have times that we're going to go through frustration. 
We are going to have those times that we get fearful. But when the frenzy comes and if we do something stupid, the love of God steps in and says, okay, let's just bring this thing back to order and go forward. And then we're in peace, serenity, and the presence of God. I hope this helps you deal with it, something that may be frustrating you today. Don't lose control. Give control to the Spirit of God and let Him take care of it. Thank you. And never, 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 never minimize the magnificence of new because God is doing something new in you today. Thank you.